Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. So today I got a new face steamer and I got this from Amazon and we'll just talk about the benefits of a face steam and then we're also going to do some unboxing. So again, I got this from Amazon and it's called Spa Life. It's a facial steam therapy. Pretty much the benefits for face steaming is always the same. So anywhere you look or you get anything that steams the face, the benefits are always going to be the same. So the benefits of steaming your face, it opens the pores to remove dirt and debris. So when you steam your face, it's opening up your skin to easily help remove dirt and debris. Um, Typically after you do a face steam, the best time to wash your face is after you do a face steam. That way whatever cleanser that you use on your skin will also help to remove the dirt. Um, they say the benefits help the skin appear more soft and youthful. To me, it actually does. I've been face steaming for like two years. I'm still learning about my acne, but as far as face steaming, my skin does appear to be like, it looks more healthier. My skin looks really, really tight when I'm done. Um, after a while of face steaming, it makes me do, I do look younger, I really do. Um, nano water particles are several times more effective and being absorbed into the skin so they're saying this particular face steamer you know the water the power of this it helps for the steam to absorb better in the skin the water when you put water into a face steamer that is where you know the steam comes from it comes from the water and it feels really really good it's really relaxing um safe to use on all skin types they said it's portable, stylish, and lightweight. Face steamers are usually like, you know, lightweight and portable, and they're really cute. They said that this one heats up less than a minute, and they just have some more details here. Um, do not use for children. Make sure you unplug it after you're done. So the basic benefits of face steaming, it helps to open your pores to help better remove the dirt from your skin. The best time to do a face steam is after, um, I'm sorry, the best time to do a face steam is before you're going to clean your face. That way your pores are open and then whatever you're cleaning with, it can actually go in and deep clean and then your skin will actually absorb better whatever you're going to put on after that. So after your cleanser, then you'll go in with your moisturizer. All of those things are going to absorb in your skin better because your skin is open after the face steam. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and y'all know where we at, the favorite spot in the kitchen. Let's go ahead and see what this look like and be sure to read the directions. I'll read the directions I never have, but I think that's probably why I messed up the ones that I did have before. So I will read the directions on this because I was being a little careless with the first two I had, but I'll go ahead and make sure that I'm reading. Sorry about the light. So this is really cute. Just the on and off button. And this looks like it's gonna blow very powerful. I'll actually record a session when this is on so you can see how much this one blows out. I love how deep this face part is. On my first one, it wasn't this wide, I don't think. And I do love the little handle as well. This right here looks like this is where the water goes. Perfect, oh, this is so nice. So this is where the water goes. I do know one thing about a face steamer, you never want to fill over the line um, because these do get really, really hot. And if you fill them up, then, you know, the water can potentially come out. It has a little scratch here, but it looks brand new. It doesn't look like it's been used before. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Just the face steamer. I'll show you guys what this look like while it's turned on. Okay, so I'm just reading the directions and this is really good to know. I got like some little soap water on the top. But they said do not use this more than once. 
Each time should be limited to 10 minutes. Overuse may result in an expansion of pores. So make sure whatever face steamer you get that you read the directions. We definitely don't want our pores to be super big or we don't want to mess our skin up. I have been doing some research looking at some board certified dermatologists on YouTube. You can actually do your extended research as well, but the dermatologists are saying to not even use steam on the face because it will cause hyperpigmentation. I haven't had that problem for the two years that I've been face steaming. Um, and actually sometimes when I face steam, it looks like it does reduce my pores because I have really big pores. And it also seems to be that my skin, it does help my skin to get clear. Um, but just do your extended research and then also don't overuse it. I only face steam like once or twice a week, sometimes three times if I'm feeling nice. But I'll be sure to follow the directions. For normal skin, two to three times a week is suggested. For sensitive skin, once a week, okay? Never mind that. So for my sensitive skin, I just do this once a week. I make sure I do it once a week and just keep up with maintenance. If any kind of discomfort occurs, please stop using. After use, allow the water to cool down for 10 minutes and then dispose of any remaining water. If you are pregnant or menstruating, this may cause hormone disorder, there, thereby resulting in related skin issues. If you have sensitive skin, so yeah, if we're on our menstrual cycle, and this is particularly for this one, but it says that if you're on your menstrual cycle or pregnant, you could have further hormone irritations. And so the directions are really simple. So I do just want to read this really quick, and then I'll show you all the water. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Yes, yeah, so this is a good direction right here. Do not put anything besides water in a face steamer. I know we thinking, oh, so if I use a face steamer, then I mean I could put some type of essential oils in there to help me. Whatever your skincare routine is, do that after you steam your face. This particularly face steamer is saying to use distilled water. Um, so, you know, be sure to read the directions and do not add anything extra to the face steamer at all. I have my little water cap here. I filled it up just a little less than the fill line. And then I will show you. Oh, I'm super excited. Okay, so we are at the table and I'm gonna turn this on and see how she blows. Oops, okay. Really, really sturdy with the knob. Um, I do like how lightweight it is, it's really lightweight. With the face steamers, you do have to wait a minute till they actually like heat the water up. Okay, so with this face steamer, it it has a lot of steam coming out, but it's not like the other face steamers I had, they were like kind of louder and they kind of blew hard smoke. Um, this one is not blowing hard smoke and it's not loud. Um, it does have a good amount of steam probably can't see it that good on the camera it does have a good amount of steam but it's really soft um and i will let this like i know it's new so i will let it like heat up a little bit more i'm hoping that it does blow out more steam than it has right now or maybe it's just me and maybe i should just you know be gentle but i'm used to like a lot of steam coming out at a time um i mean so it is kind of a lot but not really especially with the face steamers I had. But I got this one for like $13 on sale. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men can use a face steamer. The face steamer helps for your pores to open up your skin. That way when you're done and whatever your skincare routine is, your skin will absorb those products better. If you have sensitive skin, just do this once a week. If you have like normal skin, minimal breakouts, then it'll be okay to face steam two to three times a week. Be sure to always do your extended research on the issues that you have with your skin. Do your extended research and read the directions that for anything, whatever you buy, if you do buy a face steamer, read the directions. I will come back in the description section after I do a complete steam and I'll let you all know if I got more steam, if I really like it like that, if it's okay. For now, it's okay. Um, I still really don't care for the steam level, but I will see how it goes and just begin to be more gentle with my skin. Alexis loves you. Mwah.
Typically when the face steamer is done um, and it ran out of water, the ones that I've had, they would just like, the water may start like sprouting out a little bit, but you'll know when there's not any more water cause there won't be any more steam. For this one in particular, they said do 10 minutes. So I'll do 10 minutes. Even if it's still more water, I'll just dispose it. So make sure you read the directions for the face steamer that you get. <laughs> 